at San Francisco State's Romberg Tiburon Center for Environmental Studies, scientists are finding out how a one-cell marine organism will adapt to growing ocean acidification. They're focusing on a microscopic phytoplankton that is a power player in the ocean's ability to absorb greenhouse gases. What these phytoplankton do, um, which is very interesting, is they, they photosynthesize. They take the energy from the sun and they take carbon dioxide that's dissolved in the water uh, and make um, sugars and they make inorganic carbon. The inorganic carbon shells form ballast. They essentially help to sink the organic carbon and they provide a mass by, by which the organic carbon gets um, transported down. It's been estimated that this organism probably is involved with about 85 percent of the transfer of carbon from the surface waters, those greenhouse gases, down into deep water. If it wasn't for, for phytoplankton doing this and organisms like Emiliania huxleyi, uh, we would basically be cooked. Ocean acidification is uh, a consequence of increased atmospheric CO2 levels, which is caused by continued burning of fossil fuels by human activity. So once carbon dioxide is in the atmosphere, it'll dissolve into the surface oceans. And when it does, it produces carbonic acid, which is a weak acid. And as, uh, as a result of that, the um, surface seawater, the pH of the surface seawater is driven towards relatively acidic values. By the end of the century, carbon dioxide is expected to rise to about 700 to 1,000 parts per million. The, the potential um, solution to having an increased amount of CO2 in our atmosphere is to take that CO2 and put it back where it came from, which is trapped deep in our planet. And in fact, a lot of fossil fuels were probably derived from phytoplankton of millions of years ago. So what we've been doing is culturing these cells, uh, the coccolithophores, under conditions of present day pH and year 2100 projected pH. The way we did that was to first create the atmosphere that's projected for the end of the century. We took some surface ocean, a surface water from the present ocean and bubble that with the future atmosphere. But from our lab studies, what we would predict is that, um, is that there would be less, these coccolithophores would have less ballast, they'd be making less inorganic carbon and less ballast to drag down some of that organic carbon. And so the cells uh, would eventually be transporting less CO2 from the atmosphere down into the deep ocean. Uh, the ramification is that the ocean is not going to be helping us to combat um, the increase in, uh, in the greenhouse gases. The ocean will be much, much less capable of drawing the uh, through the organisms that are in it, drawing the CO2 out of the atmosphere and transferring it to deep water. The team's findings have implications for other important ocean systems, including the food chain. They hope these findings will contribute to future public policy regarding the reduction of greenhouse gases.